I remember that day, yeah. I mean, that tour, that's, the most memories I have of Nirvana are the first six months. That, that, was, that was an interesting time for the band because we felt like something was happening. We felt like something, like a balloon that's just about to pop and you just never know when it's mm -hmm. going to explode. And, and every day there was something new and this was a new experience for us. And, and every day we were just taken by surprise by something. That was wild, and we were talking about that as we were driving into town today, about how much fun it was. Um, there are not many, there are not many uh, radio shows, there are not many countries that have that sort of, um, that sort of session or that sort of experience. And when we were coming into that session, we were sort of wondering, God, what the hell are we gonna do? How are we gonna do this? Because we're used to just jumping around on stage with volume at 10. We thought, okay, well, we should try to do some slight variations of the songs or bring the songs down. But yeah, yeah, I remember actually that there were these snacks that you guys had. <laughs> Here you were quite shy and quite, yeah. quite, quite introverted. Now you seem very extroverted and you even, well, allow yourself to be really goofy and yeah. well, energetic. What is the difference? What has happened? I think the biggest difference was that life to me meant something different than it does now and after Kurt died my life changed and my perspective on life changed so much that that you know sometimes you sort of take life for granted and you just sort of feel like like um, it's your right to be alive when it's so much more of a luxury than people than people sometimes believe or feel you know it's it's just a love of playing drums or guitar writing songs it's just, it's an obsession and it's a, it's a deep love that I have and, and it's, I just can't stop. Okay, stay alive. <laughs> Thanks, man. Cheers. Thank you very much.